Welcome back guys, in today's video I'm gonna show you these two JavaScript array methods and the usage of them. Okay, I have created a JS file called arraymethods.js and let me call it const. Let me create my array, array for concat, which is equal to 1, 2, 3. Let me create a variable number concat. Let me say four for that. So let me concat that variable to that the array I initially created. So new concat array, which is equals to array for concat dot concat. see the output I log to the console to the console I say array for concat which is array for concat Let me copy and paste the console log and let's look to the console new contact new contact array also new contact array Okay guys, let's uh, view the output. Yes, array for concat is 1, 2, 3 and new concat array is 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, just as you see the array for concat, the initial array has not been changed and new array has been created and but still the first the array for concat is remaining same. Okay, let's See the difference const array for push which is one two three same as before and let me create another variable number for push I'm doing the same const push array This time and push number for push. Actually, new array, new push array will be wrong, but I will change it later for the time being. Let's see the output console look array for push array for. But I'll explain it later. New push. New push array, I would say, for the time being. Okay, let's view the output. And yes, you can see this is our previous output. Uh, Yes, let's see the uh, second output we just run. This is array for concat, new concat array, and array for push is 1, 2, 3, 4, and new push is 4. Actually, that is not an array, but just the length of newly created array. So, that is the difference. So, 
actually the push doesn't re return an array instead it's just return the length of newly created array so let's change the variable also length of new push new array actually okay guys that's it for today's video and finally there are a few things to be remembered when you are adding an element or elements to an array there are two ways first one is concat and secondly you can use push as well and the difference is concat is immutable and push is mutable i hope you enjoyed this video see you in another video